Louise Blanche Bethune was the first professional woman architect in the United States. She was raised uh, and trained in Buffalo. She worked for an architect named Richard Waite. And she started her practice in 1881. The exhibit is in support of the book that I wrote on Louise Bethune called Louise Blanche Bethune, Every Woman Her Own Architect. The Zena Bethune collection was donated by the family of Louise's great-granddaughter. Um, it is unique, uh, not only in the city of Buffalo, but in the nation. It's always exciting to take a look and be able to think about how we might be able to expand a story or bring another perspective. So when people come to us and are willing to trust us with their materials, that's exciting. Um, the collection comprises not only her architectural history, but also um, Louise as a person, uh, photo albums, photographs, uh, ephemera, we have her chair. Um, it's really an all-encompassing picture of who she was uh, as a, a woman in Buffalo at the turn of the century. We really wanted it to be colorful and as immersive as we could make it and really represent the way that Louise occupied the built environment, not just buildings. Well, the Hotel Lafayette is her masterpiece, uh, I call it her opus, and uh, that was uh, an important building nationally, so it was considered one of the finest uh, hotels in the country, certainly the finest hotel uh, west of New York City. So many of the buildings that she designed are no longer standing, you know, they've been torn down over the years, and so to see drawings of the Hotel Lafayette, it's a building that you can go in, that you can walk around, that you can stay in if you want to. It's still a hotel, you know, it still serves that purpose, um, so th I think those drawings are really special. The other photo that I think is really important is a photo of her with the bicycle. So Louise was the first woman in, in Buffalo to own her own bicycle, it cost about $150. She was a founding member of the Buffalo Women's Wheel and Athletic Club, one of the first bicycling clubs in the country. Really loved that image of her because it shows that she was really interested in women's equality, not just in the workplace, but also, you know, in, in, in this play space as well in the public realm. It's important for UB and the University Archives to preserve the story, Louise's story, because she was so significant in the history of Buffalo, and part of our mission of the archives um, is to document that history. When we talk about opportunities for women to be able to tell stories of other women, I think it really gives us all an opportunity to really think about you know, how we can make sure that those voices are not lost and how we can make sure that we can find ways of, of filling in the gaps of where women have always been in history and really bringing, really bringing them to light and really bringing them to the forefront. It's been important to me to illuminate her story, to tell it again, because she uh, has lessons to teach us all about resilience. Our hope is that when people come here and see her story, they can see their story, and they can see representation of, of someone like them and someone that is part of this community.